yes. <laughs> you know, it seems like there's been a lot of study on electricity over the last, oh, seven, eight decades. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's an individual that happens to be Alaska's wealthiest uh, person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Governor Walker, right. P. Kelly, Republic co-chair at Senate Finance. Yes. Uh, and uh, Bob Gillum, mm -hmm. one of Alaska's richest men. <laughs> Could you get me all the richest individuals in Alaska? Oh. You know, when I decided, well, I was really thinking... Maybe 10 to 15 percent of the actual, you know, that hovercraft, that smooth kind of road that produces electricity. Yes. 10 to 15 percent of it would be recycled uh, plastics. Yes. I think a lot of people got excited about uh, producing plastic bottles, uh, plastic milk jugs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the Koch's, I mean, they're big into petroleum products right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's possible that I wouldn't need to buy any petroleum products from certain billionaires. Yes. Now, I know you don't get to be the richest poop, without having a certain business interest. Yes. Now, these employees of the state of Alaska. Yeah. I heard that you're using that ionosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do not need to be opening up any holes in the upper atmosphere. Mm -hmm. They probably didn't hear about this, considering that you're in Alaska. Yes. But there's a global warming problem. <laughs> it seems that somebody opened up a whole lot of holes in the upper atmosphere using ionospheres. <laughs> and then some space crept into the actual atmosphere of planet Earth and quite a bit of sunlight. <laughs> now, uh, I know, okay, in Alaska it's cold up there, isn't it? It's cold. <laughs> You don't have a global warming problem in Alaska? Mm -hmm. But there was the availability of moving electricity from point A to point B, not using actual wires. <clears throat> now, in the last hundred years, did anybody find a way to move electricity through the ass cheeks of the population so that you could ionosphere the 5G that happens to be in the electric grid? You know, I've seen some people from Alaska, and they look like they're mutating. You know, uh, ions yes. in the 5G, poop. I know. You've got an oil problem in Alaska. Nobody wants to buy it. <laughs> now, there's another way that I could handle my problems. I could do without the actual wires necessary to run the electricity through the grid. <laughs> Now, how would I do it? Oh, well, if you can sew the electric grid into my ass, yes, so that you can electrocute me whenever you want, yes, and my ass is not con connected to the electric grid, <laughs> there's a possibility that I can remove the electricity out of my ass, yes, and I can connect it from point A to point B so that we no longer need wires in the power grid. <laughs> uh, why don't you get me all the, the parts of the ionosphere there, Harp? And then uh, get me the 5G because I'm sure we're going to have it up there in Alaska. And it's probably a little cold. I mean, do we really need to wire the whole state? Or uh, if you, well, I have a lot of personal experience with being electrocuted. Yes, yes, yes. When you think of Tesla, okay. When you think of my ass cheeks, okay. Is there any possibility that somebody knows how to sew electricity? See, we don't need an electric grid in Alaska. <laughs> what we need is just the electricity to go from point A to point B through the ass cheeks. Connected to the 5G. Right. With a little eye up. <laughs> <laughs>